So it's a beautiful day outside here in Ontario. It's nice and sunny behind Brittany there. And uh, she has long sleeves on, but I'm in a t-shirt because it's really nice out. And uh, uh, someone from Finland has requested that we do a walk around of our vehicles. So I'm going to do mine first. This is my truck. It's a 2001 Dodge Ram. It's 1500 Sport. It has the 5.9 liter 360 in it. It's badass. <laughs> it's not four wheel drive. It's regular cab short box two wheel drive. It's got some beautiful, beautiful rims. It's like the Indy Pace rims. Uh, everything that's on the truck came with it when I bought it. So it has a roll pan. It has a dual exhaust, which is Magnaflow. I don't know if you see on there. It's not true duals, unfortunately, but I plan to hopefully do that up this summer. We'll see how it goes. I might straight pipe it. I'm not sure. Uh, the tint I did, or I added, uh, it was a front end collision write off, and I bought it from Shaw's Auto Collision Repair or whatever they're called over there, Shaw's, and um, or their auto records that they are. And uh, so the bumper is a different bumper. It was cracked right here, and I did the repair on that myself. I did all the body prepping and everything. The grills knew, the fenders knew, the hoods knew. My dad painted it. He did a fantastic job. So uh, yeah, overall, it didn't cost me too much. The tint was only like 110 bucks, which is awesome, great deal. That uh, Happy Bunny sticker right there is the very first sticker. I had actually bought the sticker the day I bought the truck. And uh, we can take a look under the hood. And you can't see it because the light's not on, but uh, it has, I think, 87,000 miles on it. I'm going to say 89,500. So that's miles. So in kilometers, it's a little bit more. It's about 130,000, I think. 129,000. So it's a little greasy under there because I got it undercoated. It's all stock. There's nothing too special under the hood. I uh, haven't got too far with it yet because by the time I finally got it on the road last year, summer was already midway through and I spent all the money getting it on the road. So I'm hoping to get, do some stuff to it this summer. So my truck too has a boo-boo right here. The worst part about it is it was not caused by me. Uh, this is the second time this has happened to my truck. I've painted this bumper twice since I've owned it already. This is going to be the third time I'm painting it this summer because I can't stand to have that there. It's, you know, it's what happens when you leave your truck in a parking lot. People just kind of drive into it, I guess. And I park like, you know, courtesy park back of the parking lot, you know, seven spaces, whatever. But someone still managed to hit it. Totally sucks, but oh well. It comes off easy and I'll just. Repaint it. A good dad to repaint it. Gotta wait for my brother to move out and take his dogs with him so we have a shop again. And this is the inside of my truck. It's a little bit cleaner today. I had to, a little bit of time to clean it. That's the view from outside of my truck through the tent. I do have an aftermarket stereo. Mine's Kenwood. And I have a sub and amp in my truck as well. I can turn the music off. This is yeah, that's what I told you. Your lip chaps in here. This is how sexy my truck sounds. I think it purrs nicely. Yeah, that's right. It turns me on, I'm not gonna lie.